Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Hi, I'm Claudia. Ladies and, Claudia. and gentlemen, thank, thank you so much for, so much for opening this video. Today, I I'm Claudia, to stop. real estate agent in Jamaica. And if you want to just, sell, just buy, figure out or build real estate, why is hit the subscribe that you're button. Broke. And remember, <laughs> almost every phone call, Miss Davis. You know, I'm broke. I don't have no money. You know. I want to buy a house. I just don't have any money. Come on, guys. And, you know, I had to stop. I had to say, Tony, let us stop and just figure out why these people are broke. What reasons you came up with? Yeah, and I came up with some reasons why they're broke. The number one fundamental reason, those of you who say you're broke, broke <laughs> because your parents never teach you about money. No financial education. Yeah, that's the bottom line. <laughs> them just never teach you not more money. Them give you lunch money, you go to school, you spend it. Some of you hoard it and you spend it. Some of you don't even get lunch money to carry to school, eh? And lunch. The lunch, the, you get lunch or the lunch come to you. You have no clue. You don't even take the bus. Yeah. Some of you, the bus man, you take the bus, but if your parents pay for the bus. Prepaid for the Prepaid. one. Prepaid. <laughs> Uh, you don't have a clue not about money. Mm -hmm. So if you're one of those persons who your parents did not teach you about money, then you're going to have to learn because if you have some children, it's best if you teach them about money so that you can break the cycle, right? So that's what we have covered that. So that's one of the reasons why you're you're broke and you don't have, you're broke and on the money. Yeah, so I kind of upgraded my skills when it came to money, right? So basically, Tony, so what did I teach you about money? Well, how to get money how to earn money i think that was the biggest thing yeah. we always said we need to have a little side hustle <laughs> grow up knowing that it's not just your job you must have you must have a second source of income, income right not just to sit on text job right right or whatever somebody paying you but you must go out there and do something to get paid too right and it's that money now you're gonna use to mm -hmm. really go after your dreams with right so your parents are the first problem. The second problem is when you drop into the school system. <laughs> now I don't know about school systems around the world. I know about school systems in Jamaica. Those school, our school system can be very oppressive mm -hmm. when it comes to money. So you have to, even when I was at Woolworths, I did the same thing. Same thing. Nestle here, clip. Um, and then scrum, the time scrunchy come in. You're my scrunchy? Yeah. Yes, scrunchy. And like a snap clip that you put at the side of here, snap. Them something that come in and me I sell like, me I sell out to me, I sell out to my bag friend and me I hustle and I hide from the prefect, them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> them see, I sell a problem. And this is what I'm saying, that our school system does not encourage you to have another source of income by doing that. It doesn't. The school system has failed us. Mm hmm the school system has failed us. That's where you really want to put it. <laughs> because every every Jamaican school now I call Miss Davis. Miss Davis, how dare you say the school system has failed? <laughs> but the the, the 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 shortfalls in the school system, the whole attitude about money. You see a child being entrepreneurial, trying to sell something. Because selling is one of the ways that you make money. You know, buying and selling, trading. And some of the richest people in the world is because they sell something. Yes, yeah, because they sold something, you know. Or they created something, too. You know, I wish there was a school. If I was running a school system, I tell you, everybody would have been a little entrepreneur. <laughs> Even a little picnic would do something wrong. And they must go before the principal. Me would have met them get a student lawyer or a student counsel to come defend them. And then pay the student council to come defend them. Uh, it's not a free service. No, it's not a free service, friend. <laughs> not a free service around here. How do I appear it? No, we don't want your parents. One of them same like a one there, and one of them will come defend you. Because that's the one that can't talk, you know, Tony. <laughs> you understand? Even, even, even the ones who can do other things, like them can teach me lawn tennis. I learned when I was a woman, I learned lawn tennis from my friend in April Ferguson. April, if you're hearing me, big up April. Like you teach because I'm a submitted poor and I'm a liver Jones town. I know me now and I rock it. But Rachel had rock, um, she had rock it. April had rock it. Mm -hmm. And men are was good best friends. And she was on the lawn tennis court. She, she did so many things. And I just tag along behind her mm -hmm. and learned. Right. So like April, no April entrepreneur, she could have teach tennis lessons. 
right. at the school to the other kids. You know, you, you could have children who teach other kids in mathematics and English, tutor them and then pay. And a summer school would have run. Every single team profession where you think you want to do. It's right there. It's school. right there. You could have come and you could have set up a little lemonade stand or a little sweetie stand or a biscuit stand or a clip whatever. All about the entrepreneurship. What happened with our schools? We beat out entrepreneurship out of beating them. And conformity. Yeah, we beat it out of them. <laughs> if you see them and do that, you, you, you know you shut it down and you call the parents a long time and I go on like that. Beating them and kill somebody. Come on. <laughs> so, all right. What else? I came up with that with five points, I tell you. What's the, just the third one? The third one is we deal with the home, we deal with the school. Now we deal with the workplace. So, yes, you pass some exam and you get one job now. Mm -hmm. And what you do now? You get your job, you work one month, and you get a little money. My God. It take you one month to earn the money and take you one second to finish it. <laughs> Literally. It, I mean, it's as if, as if them let you out of one pen. <laughs> All this time. You're in a financial prison. Right? You don't have no money. And as you get the little money, Tony, as you get the little freedom. money, freedom, freedom, <laughs> run on your gum. It's oh. like um those persons who they carry lunch the entire month, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then as soon as they get paid, they go and buy fast food. Yes, they buy fast food every Friday. Hmm? Yeah, they will treat themselves, you know that them say. <laughs> Why not go buy a door and treat yourself, <laughs> or a door lock and treat yourself? So you want to get, you want instant gratification. You want the thing right now. You can't wait. Then on top of that, not only you spend off your pay. So you, you, you get the pay, you work one month, you collect your pay. You know, that not satisfy you now. You have to go get a credit card now. Hmm? Mm. You have to get a credit card now. Yeah? Danger. Danger. So now you're spending money you don't have. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you spend other people money. <laughs> Oh. And most persons get that card, and within one month, it blow up, 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 up. And then the interest rate is high. Yeah. You get to using borrowed money. You are not buying anything sensible with a credit card. You're not buying anything with any resale value. It's not as if you're buying something for do like a buy and sell, like we used to do. You're not do that. You're going to buy shoes, handbag, phone. phone. People like use credit card by phone credit. Really? Here's <laughs> right here, I want credit. People buy, people use credit card and step into the fast food place and buy food. Why do you do that? And then you tell me about, oh, Miss Dino, because I'm giving me cash back. I'm giving me cash back. Cash back, it should be on things that you buy, use this credit card to buy that is going to earn your money. That way, you earn the money to pay back the people in for them credit card. And you get your cash back extra as your bonus. <laughs> That's why you use credit card for guys. Not for go buy shoes and go do one here. You do go hairdress on. No. You want instant gratification like that. You spend the money that you earn already to do that. Not go for vacation. Spend the money. Then you have to go back and go work for pay for the vacation. <laughs> It's like you never get the vacation. <laughs> it makes sense. It just does not make any sense, right? So don't do it. So that's a credit card. No, because your credit card, you, you get this credit card. You want, you buy this and you buy that. You find no. So this is a fourth point now. Your rate of spending is greater than your rate of earning. Write it down. It's Write like it down. One. Yes. <laughs> know what I mean, Tony. I mean, basically, what do you think it means, Tony? Tell them what it means. You're spending the money too quick and you're taking too long to earn it. Yes. So you earn 100000 Jamaican for the month. It took you one whole month for somebody, for you to work your butt off. Get up early, go work. Take a lot of shh. And then you get 100000 and you spend it in a one day. Or you get a thousand US and you spend it in one day. What some of you do, it's spend all before you get it. Book out. Book out. <laughs> the little lady coming, like me, coming, me stocking and my nice things, it's a blouse and whatever. 
and you trust it, you credit it. Hmm? So the little lady that met more than you, you know, quicker than you, you know. Cause yeah. look how far she met the ten dollar or the fifty dollar <laughs> for the blouse. And you took you one whole month to work to buy the one blouse. You know, sister, something wrong with that match, the people. Your rate of spending is greater than your rate of earning. What you also do is that you know you're getting a hundred thousand for the end of the month. You start the match now and you pencil out the money. I remember when I was at the insurance company, there was this girl. She get all envelope people, envelope. And she write electricity, water, the food lady, <laughs> all these things, you know, on the and envelope. She cash out the pay. Cash out the and pay and start parcel it out. She did that in a one day. <laughs> so it took her one month to earn the money and take her. One day to pass it out. One out. day, Tony, to pass it out. <laughs> Guys, your rate of spending is greater than your rate of earning. You got to cut that out. Not make them fool you. <laughs> All right, so my next point was, I would say, when you get a pay, don't spend it. Hmm. I want you to. When you get the pay, you're going to keep hang on to the pay. The following month, when you get your next pay, that is when you spend the pay from the month before. So, what about your utility bills? JPS give you 10 days to pay. Now, you want to run your pay them. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that? <laughs> JPS give you 10 days to pay. Right. You want to run your pay them. So, you need, to, you need to break that cycle of your rate of spending being greater than your rate of earning. Break that cycle. Mm -hmm. All right fifth one and very very important is that you need to study financial system you need to study money now when i was in school you have to upgrade the books that you read to study financial education i remember we did nancy drew remember them book there mm -hmm. totally didn't read them book there i did the nancy drew book them them no made love read me i'm only for them there mills and boone never graduated mills and boone when the romantic thing said he that never worked for me like that <laughs> then, when I started my job, luckily for me, I tell everybody this, luckily for me, I'm an avid reader, so I'm always going to the books from me, I look for things to read, look for things to read. I'm going to start updating my, update my skills, updating my reading skills, and I read a book called The Richest Man in Babylon, first book I read, and that just put me on a different path. So, you have to upgrade your reading skills. So, maybe yeah. high school should um, upgrade the reading list at school. Tony, them know why you have no money. <laughs> you sit on a weird pandemic school and have to upgrade reading list. Forget it. <laughs> me, me, when you were in school, you did Shakespeare, right? Yeah. Me do Shakespeare in a school. Me do Macbeth. Me do the whole of them. The Merchant of Venice. As a matter of fact, my favorite thing is from the Merchant of, of Venice, which says, The quality of mercy is not straight. It droppeth like the gentle rain from heaven upon the place beneath. It is twice blessed. Blesseth him that gives and him that takes. And I could go on and on. That was my favorite poem. <laughs> my favorite speech. I think it was Portia who did it in the Merchant of Venice. Mm -hmm. But guys, if you waited on the school system, forget that. The same book them that I read at Woolmers in 1970. Whoa, when did I go? 19. When did I go to Woolmers? 1977? Mm -hmm. At the same book them Tony and come back, come read when you go to high school. Uh, 1996. And it's the same book my daughter Rachel read when we went to Woolmers the other day. The same book list. Mm -hmm. And as I want to read, Rachel, I don't 25. And I kid you not. My niece is now going to Woolmers first form. I want me to look on the book list at the same book list. And on it was not one book about money or financial education. So them know why you for rich. So forget that. Forget that. You have to read your own book then. Now, we will be helping you to do this. So, Tony and I have decided that we're going to have... <laughs> oh, we leave the shirt alone so we can get through this now, man. Oh, no, the last part. So, Tony and I, have, and I have decided that, you know, we need to really help these people to understand money and what they need to do. Because we're too broke, man. We need to have some money. We want people with money for Carlo for buy house. <laughs> Quite <laughs> frankly, right? So we have decided to help you to get more of what you want, right? So we will be doing two things. We'll be hosting, what do you call it on YouTube now? Um, YouTube Live. 
YouTube Live. Hear that, guys? YouTube Live. We're going live. YouTube Live. You can come on, ask us questions about money. We're also in before YouTube Live starts, which is what date for YouTube Live? Uh, it's on a Sunday, Sunday at, it's Sunday coming in November here. What's a Sunday? 20 something. It's going to be on the screen. Tony don't remember. <laughs> what is a Sunday, right? Yeah. And it's going to start at 5. We're only doing it for one hour initially. 5 to 6. Now, we will be bringing out some other videos talking about financial things. And you can follow those videos. If you don't understand something, come into YouTube Live and ask us, right? That's why we're having the YouTube Live, because we want you to ask us the questions. Then, after YouTube Live, we're going into a Zoom session at 6. The Zoom session is between 6 and 8, where we'll study some books. We're going to be studying four books. When you've completed those four books, your financial education should be a little better, right? So I, I narrate the books for you. I read the books for you because I know you're going to go buy the book and you're still not going to read it. <laughs> That's the problem with you. You don't read. So therefore, me, I'm going to read the book them for you. Because when me did it in school, I was a big reader. I will read the book. I will narrate the book, I should say. <laughs> and we will bounce things off each other. Something you don't understand, you ask me. Um, other people in the group too will get it a different way. Especially the first one we're going to read, Richest Man in Babylon. Which is not written in straight English, as you will discover. So those of you who are serious. Remember now, you know. You have to be serious, you know. Don't come in a play, play thing, you know. You're serious, you want to change your life with this money business. All your life, it's a fool, it's a runner from you. All the money that does a run away from you, so it not stay with you. Then, you need to jump on to the, 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 the YouTube, live YouTube Live at 5. Stay with us for the Zoom session at 6. And you're also, we had our, we already went through a whole course of Zoom sessions, didn't we, Tony? We did. And those persons who came on, they got a wealth of knowledge. So we have run... We actually did one series of it already. And those persons have now graduated and they have <laughs> got into our Facebook group, our mature Facebook group. So when you come into this and you graduate, you go to that group, right, guys? As a matter of fact, let's listen to Shauna, one of the previous participants. I attended Miss Claudia's um, Zoom class session. It was an amazing adventure. It was enlightening. It was helpful resourceful it opened my eyes to so many opportunities in real estate she is honest she is hard working she will walk you through the process she'll read out all the information in class um there was never a dull moment it was also a class about life and um experiences it is so great to have a teacher who's actually been there done that to guide you through and even if she felt like she didn't have all the information, she always had someone who she could um, send you to. Um, there's nothing Miss Claudia Davis don't know. She know the real estate of Jamaica inside out. She know everything you need in life to be successful. And she's willing to not only tell it to you, but she'll walk you through and give a map on how to get there. So it was always such a joy being in her Zoom session. I truly look forward to going on many more adventures with her. For the Zoom session, you're going to go in the link, complete your name, email address, and phone number. So that Tonyan will now send you the link to the Zoom session by email. Is that it, Tonyan? Yes. So they must fill out the form with their name, email, and phone number. So that you can now send them the Zoom link. Right. You got it, everybody? But for Facebook, not Facebook, for YouTube Live, they just have to come on. I will be there. I will be there. All right, so everybody, I hope, man, I know this was very long for you, but I hope you learned something, and I hope you jump into our YouTube live and our face. And I keep saying face, why? Do we have a Facebook live? <laughs> there is, but we're on YouTube live. We're on YouTube live. Oh, God, but I would Facebook live. We're on YouTube live. So you're going to join us, and we look forward to teaching you. All right? 
Bye, everybody. Bye. Eight seven six. Two nine two. Six seven seven six 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 six. You want a horse? Link to her dear Davis man. You want a piece of land? She had the real big woman.